So it is Monday, February 26th, and I got one package from eBay, and we're going to uh, take a look and see what is inside. So this package arrived today, and as you can see, it's kind of in a bit of a disarray. Uh, that is thanks to my dog, who can absolutely can't stand the mailman or the UPS driver or the FedEx driver or anybody like that. So when a package arrives, and um, in this case, the um, postal worker left it on the front porch and the dog uh, beat me out to it and he grabbed it and literally destroyed the package. So that's why it's open. Thought it was kind of an interesting backstory. Not the first time he's done it and I'm sure it won't be the last. So what this is, is an Indiana Jones uh, Temple of Doom figure that I picked up strictly for the hat. And I've actually never seen this figure before, so I kind of wanted to see what it looked like also. And not bad looking. I like that he's actually got decent articulation. He's got the uh, double hinged elbow. The joints are very loose. Um, For whatever reason, the, the, the lower articulation is awful. Um, anyway, I got him so that I can complete my soft goods Indiana Jones. I thought he was going to fall. So I've wanted to give him a pistol. Now actually I got a really nice one here. I don't think... No, his holster doesn't work either. Comes with his uh, Temple of Doom machete. The satchel. Like I said, most importantly is uh, the fedora. Now this is the second one I purchased for this figure. The first one was from a WWE figure, which didn't work out. Um, it was just slightly undersized, which I was kind of disappointed because most WWE figures have a little bit larger heads than say um, Marvel Legends. So I was hoping that that would work in my favor, but it did not. So, yeah, this actually works a lot better. I think I'm going to repaint it though. It kind of has like a, from this lighting anyway, a purplish hue to it for some reason. Other than that, this is exactly uh, what I needed to finish this figure off. Now this was my second one. Um, I made one that I keep here in my house and I was making this one to bring with me to work and it actually turned out, I think, to be a slightly better version than my original one. Um, that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. See if I can actually hold his gun here. Now the wrestling hands are slightly big for this. But yeah, so that's uh, my Indiana Jones figure finally completed. And tomorrow I will bring him in and put him somewhere on, uh, on my desk or on a shelf above my desk. And that is where he will uh, remain. I wanted to have a custom at work, so that is uh, the one, because people ask me all the time to bring in um, customs, and most of them I don't want to leave at work. So I made this one with the idea of if something happens to it, you know, it grows legs or walks on its own or whatever, um, I can live with that. But I didn't want to bring in a one of a kind that I didn't have a double of, and now that I've got two of them, um, that's what's going to happen. So anyway, um, hope everybody has a really great week, and I will catch you later. Bye. Keep watching for the next video. Come back soon. Bye.